But now is 926. Another big breaking story we are following, of course, is the building collapse that happened downtown at the Hard Rock Hotel. Uh, let's go back out to Erica Ferrando. She has been out live on the scene for us. I know Erica, um, right now we did hear a little bit earlier that crews have pretty much, for the most part, uh, stopped their search or ended their search for the evening. That's right. Well, and there are still two people missing that are believed to be inside the building, but because of safety concerns, they did have to stop searching for the night. Now, even though they have stopped searching, there is still a family, about 10 people of family and friends of one man who is still missing inside. They are out here tonight. They had candles. They've been having people deliver them food and water. Um, Jung Hotel even brought them some coffee and the wife of one of those men, she actually wanted to identify him. She wanted people to know who he is. She says his name is 49 year old Anthony Magretta. She is told that he's on the ninth or 10th floor. Of course, they have not made any contact with him. She says he has four grown kids and several grandchildren. She said he loves his family. He's really funny, always caring. She says he's a hard worker and was actually supposed to be off work today, but was called in. And so she says she is staying out here, sleeping out here until he is found. She says, I just can't leave him. But of course, they have not made any contact with him. We know search and rescue went in for several hours this afternoon. They did not locate anyone. And of course, they have stopped for the night. Um, the other person, uh, there is one other person that is still missing. And of course, earlier today, we were told there were three people. That third person was located. We were told they actually drove themselves to the hospital and all of the people that uh, did go to the hospital, we are told are in stable condition. And of course, this is still a very dangerous situation out here um, because we're told by the New Orleans Fire Chief that that building is still at risk of collapsing at any time again. That's why they still have all of these roads blocked off and that's why they had to stop the search for tonight. But of course, the wife of this man is asking for people to pray. She says that's why it's important that people know who he is. She wants people to know his name so that they can pray for her and him and the rest of their family. For now, live in New Orleans, I'm Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.